Now the big whoop with Google's fresh new Pixel 9 blowers is they're absolutely crammed full of that AI stuff making them roughly 20 times smarter than that Stephen Hawkins fella and approximately 60 billion times cleverer than Andrew Donkey Flaps Tate. Although frankly this morning I dug something out of my belly button that had a higher IQ than that f And thanks to this AI type chicanery you've now got the super smart and helpful Gemini assistants stuffed on those Pixel 9 phones as well as a whole heap of really useful bonus features. There's loads of great tools on here to help you out with your everyday existence, to get better camera shots, to edit your photos, and help you customize your fresh new Pixel 9 blowers. So let's check out some of the best bits you should definitely check out if you've just purchased a new Google handset. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do pug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now first up, basically all of the AI tools from previous Pixels carry over onto the Pixel 9s. This includes the ever helpful circle to search tool, just basically long press the navigation bar down below and then circle an image or whatever you see on screen that you want to know more about. And boom, a whole set of Google image results pop right up. And oh yes, if you dive into the settings, then go to wallpaper and style and then more wallpapers, you can generate your own AI papers. You don't have complete carte blanche to do whatever you want, but you can select a general subject and then tweak the subject matter like so, and then you will get something that kind of vaguely resembles what you asked for. Not gonna lie, this is one AI feature that I think is complete cack and I don't bother with it. Instead, you should absolutely just go with the nerdy anime shenanigans. And for anyone who's wondering where I get my papers from, wall.alphacoders.com, wall.alphacoders.com. That's where my wallpapers come from, wall.alphacoders.com. You've also got a bunch of fresh new AI features stuffed into the Pixel 9s, including, of course, good old Gemini Nano. You can get Gemini to do your bidding simply by poking the app. And if you dive into the Gemini settings and go into Google Assistant features in Gemini, you can also turn on the good old Hey Google shenanigans so you can conjure it up just by using your voice. And the whole idea behind Gemini is you can have a conversation with it like you would a friend. In fact, it's a great replacement for friends if you don't have any, like me. What should I do to prepare for my trip to Middlesbrough? To get ready for your Middlesbrough trip, start by checking the weather forecast. Do you have any particular interests? like history, nature, or sports. Mostly drinking. All right, Middlesbrough has a decent nightlife scene. Some places to check out are the Dickens Inn, the Empire, and the Foundry. Where can I go drinking where I probably won't get stabbed? Middlesbrough can be a bit rough, so let's find some safer options. Do any of them serve my favorite drink, tequila vodka Red Bull? All right, sounds like you want the good stuff. The Dickens Inn has a decent selection of spirits, so it's probably your best bet. Yada yada. Gemini remembers everything you've talked about, so it's a proper flea, flea, th free flowing conversation. Should I reshoot that? I really can't be bothered. All right, I've got my plan for my trip to Borough. Now all I need is a tetanus shot. Maybe a bit of hepatitis as well, just to be sure. But to make full use of Gemini, including using Gemini Live, you will need a Gemini Advanced subscription. You get one free year with any of these Pixel 9 blowers, then you'll need a hoi more cash at Google. Ugh. Now another app you'll most definitely want to check out here on your Pixel 9 blower is good old Screenshots. You probably won't be massively shocked to hear this gathers together all the screenshots you've taken on your Pixel 9 phone. You can also extract text from them so it's super easy to copy and paste into any other apps. And you can also add a bit of a memo on any screenshots including a voice memo. The best part of this is you can quickly and easily search through all of your screenshots simply by tapping down here. So for instance, what was the offer about the bottomless brunch at Bounce? And it pulls out the relevant screenshot. You can also ask specific questions like, when does the frame by frame event at the BFI run from? And boom, there we go, August the 12th until the 1st of October, exactly right. Although, you know, didn't mention that it does not include the 20th of August, so minus points there. And if, like me, you're a bit OCD about tidiness and everything, you can actually create a collection of screenshots as well, get everything organized by type. And another app that is well worth checking out on your Pixel 9 blower is Pixel Studio. And basically just ask it for any kind of image, anything that springs into your mind and the Pixel can pull it out of its virtual arse. Oh, I think Disney might be suing on that one though. However, as usual, there are limitations based on how tasteful your request is. And also it can't really do humans 
just yet either. That's coming in a future update apparently. So you can't request an image of say for instance James Corden drowning in a lake of fire. So yeah most of your fun ideas will unfortunately be completely denied. But it's worth playing around with and if you don't like the first image that's generated just poke this wee arrow down below and a fresh image will be conjured up and you can flick back through previous creations like so. This is my YA novel that I'm writing at the moment by the way, Bambi the Awkward Teenagers. And if you were wondering this works using a combination of a diffusion model running on the Tensor G4 as well as Google's Imogen 3 text to image model which is squatting somewhere up there in the cloud. And there's plenty more AI type shenanigans stuffed in here as well including call notes which can automatically produce a summary in bullet points of all the major bits that you chatted about during a phone call on your Pixel 9. Either that's not available just yet or it's one of these US only features for now because I can't get it here on my Pixel 9 Pro. And there's also a whole bunch of AI chicanery stuffed inside of that camera app as well so let's check this out. Now one of the best new camera features that Google has slapped in here is the fresh new Add Me tool. And this basically allows you to add yourself into any group shot. So just line up your first pick, leaving a bit of space at the edge for yourself and then swap over with someone who was in that group shot. And then those two pictures are basically merged together into one glorious whole. Just be sure you do clearly separate from the rest of the group otherwise it looks like I'm basically being booted in a very uncomfortable place. And if you've got yourself a Pixel 9 Pro or a Pixel 9 Pro XL, well you'll be able to enjoy Google's updated video boost feature. As you can see there, this can improve the contrast using HDR smarts. You've also got a super res zoom feature which can really crisp up the image if you are zooming and shooting at the same time. It can also help to boost the stabilization, although the stabilization is pretty decent with Pixel 9 video recording anyway. It can really help to boost those nighttime videos as well. Now when you use Video Boost your original footage will be available immediately to check out but you will have to wait a wee while, a little bit of patience while Google processes your video before the boosted version is also available. You'll know when it's ready because you'll receive a notification and then you can check out that video right there in the Google Photos app. And when using the Video Boost you will find you can actually record in 8K resolution at 30 frames per second. Although this does knock off the ability to record in 10-bit HDR. And then for your general photography type shenanigans, don't forget if you stumped up extra for the Pro model, the Pixel 9 Pro or the Pro XL, you've got those bonus Pro features. So you can shoot 50 megapixel high resolution photos. You can also capture raw images if you want to edit on the fly. And there's some cracking wee bits stuffed away in the extra camera settings as well, including a bit of guided frame. You can take a selfie by flashing your palm. All kinds of shenanigans well worth checking out. And of course you've got the usual editing smart slapped on here as well. So if you want to tinker with a photo just go to edit down below. And one of the best options is of course that AI based magic editor. So this can use AI smarts to de one of your photos. Just tap that wee icon again and then go to auto frame for instance. And this can generate a new set of photos with different framing options just to make things look a bit nicer. So here we are a bit more punched in. Here it is actually a bit more pulled out as you can see it's used AI to generate a bit more around the edges. Not entirely successfully. Sometimes it does bulk up a wee bit as you might expect. But you do have the option of generating a new set of results if you're not entirely satisfied with what it's spaffed out the first time. Alternatively as you used to do before just tap magic editor and then basically highlight a subject that you want to move around or generally piddle about with. And then you'll be able to long press on them and drag them about the place. And you can also pinch on them to make them bigger or smaller. So you can basically fill up the entire frame if you want. And back in that magic editor you've also got the fresh new reimagine feature. Now all you need to do, tap an area like so. And then tap reimagine down here and type in what you want to see. So let's make it a lake of lava. And there you go, my garden now has its very own lava pit. Hooray! Or in this shot I've added in a happy chipmunk. He's a bit on the wee side though, I need to boost him in size. So once again use the magic editor to select him. Let's make him at least as big as Chainsaw Man. There we go, that's several minutes of my life I'll never get back. And as usual lots of great video editing tools here including the ability to crop, rotate, all kinds of stuff. I really like the audio eraser tool as well which is particularly handy if shooting outdoors in a noisy environment. 
This could really help to dampen wind noise, crowds, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I discussed all of these more regular, older pixel editing tools in some of my previous pixel tips and tricks guides. Definitely go check those out for all you need to know. All right, now let's round up this Pixel 9 tips and tricks video with a squint at some more customization options and just general randomness. So I already showed you how you can conjure up your own weird AI wallpapers, which I recommend not doing because it's a bit cack. But inside wallpaper and style, you can fully customize your lock screen and your home screen, including changing up the look and vibe of that clock on the lock screen. You can reduce it in size if you want and also change up the color so you can actually see it against whatever wallpaper you've got. And even better, you can also change up the shortcuts that appear at the bottom. So for instance, on my lock screen, if you just turn it on, you see you've got Google Home here in the bottom left corner, so I can quickly toggle on my smart lights, etc., and Google Wallet over on the right, so I can pay for shit. That is actually the default arrangement. I really like it, so I've left it alone, but you can change it up if you want. So for instance, you can have fast access to the camera, although I will show you another way of doing that in a second. You've got do not disturb. And you can also quickly turn on that torch if you need a midnight piss. Very handy. A few more handy bits if you poke more lock screen options, including, of course, a good bit of now playing, which can identify any songs that are being blasted out of any speakers nearby. And then if we swipe across to good old home screen, you've got a couple of decent options in here. You can change up the amp grid size. I always boost it to the maximum level, but you can knock it back down again if you want to fit less icons and widgets on screen. And then you've also got themed icons, which is seemingly never out of beta. If you switch this on, it just leeches the color out of all of the icons right there on your desktop. Not quite all, as you can see there, a couple haven't been affected. And this is a pretty effective mindfulness tool, it just means that when you unlock your phone, you go for whatever app you actually need to use. You're not loading with a quick poke of one of these bright, bold logos, and then two hours later, you're doom scrolling yourself to misery. Now, if you stumped up a huge amount of cash for one of the Pro Pixel 9s, well, that money certainly wasn't wasted because, hey, you got the glorious return of that temperature sensor. Woo! To use this, all you got to do is open up the thermometer app. And as you can see, you can measure the temperature of a variety of different objects. No people, though, apparently. So, for instance, you can measure the temperature of an egg. Who needs weathering waves or Genshin Impact when you can do that? I suppose you could use this to check the temperature of a cooking surface, make sure it's cooled down or your iron or something. But personally, my uncle Spurt just uses the spit technique. If you spit on it and it steams, then you probably shouldn't touch it. But then I'm just a bit old school like that. Now for the Pixel 9 series, Google has also introduced an excellent new feature called Clear Call. And this just helps to reduce any background chicanery and enhances vocals when you're on a call so that everyone can be clearly heard and understood. This is actually activated by default, which is fantastic. But if you need to find it at any point, just go to sound and vibration in the settings and you'll find the clear call and option in there. As you can see, you can just toggle it off and on if you need to. I also really like a lot of the gesture support stuffed away inside of Pixel smartphones. You can find this if you go to the system section in settings and then go to gestures. So for instance, the one-handed mode is absolutely fantastic for the Pixel 9 Pro XL especially. This allows you to drag down the top half of the screen with a quick swipe down of that navigation bar so you can quickly and easily reach any stuff up here near the top. And this does also chuck a one-handed mode toggle into that notifications panel. Of course, if you're in an app, you'll still have to stretch all the way to the top end of that screen to pull that down. Best off just going back to the desktop so you can drag it down a bit more easily. Other worthy gestures include the likes of the flip to shh. So you can flip your Pixel 9, Pixel 9 Pro, whatever, over onto its screen in order to just silence everything. And I also love the quickly open camera option. Basically a quick double tap of that power button loads up the camera so you're ready for action. And this even works if the phone is hibernating, which is fantastic. So double tap straight in. And lastly, if you find yourself in a game like Wuthering Waves, Genshin Impact, whatever, just a quick swipe from the top like so will unveil the game dashboard icon. You can give that a tap to bring up this feature specifically for gamers. Unfortunately, it is rather limited. As you can see, you do have optimization for some games, none of the games that I happen to play, as well as achievement support, leaderboards, etc. Here in Wuthering Waves, all you can do is stream your gameplay live to YouTube if you want to be an influencer. Otherwise, you can turn on a frames per second counter. You can do a bit of do not disturb, which is quite handy. 
And of course, you've got all the usual fantastic pixel exclusive features packed inside of here, the likes of call screen and definitely well worth jumping on if you get bothered by lots of spammy bollocks. And you'll also find squirreled away in there some potentially life-saving safety features, the likes of car crash detection. But I did bang on about all of these in previous Pixel phone tips and tricks guides. So to avoid this one stretching to the length of a Zack Schneider director's cut, I'll basically end it here and say if you want to know more about some of those older bits, we'll definitely check out some of my previous tips and tricks guides. Well, that's it. Anyway, did I miss out your own favourite pixely related feature tool whatever it may be well definitely let me know what a massive wanger i am down in the comments below and let us know what your own personal tip or trick thing is in the meantime check out all my other pixel 9 shenanigans that's going live here on TechSpur. we've got reviews unboxings comparisons the lot please do bug subscribe do that notifications bell all the other youtube guff and have yourselves a bloody wonderful rest of the week cheers everyone love you